As you know, a cannonball is a round object shot from cannons. Using an explosive base propellant, this artillery can launch a projectile over great distances. By examining these basic elements, Sir Isaac Newton, a 17th century scientist and mathematician, developed the cannonball theory to explain the laws of gravity. Modern scientists and engineers still use Newton's law to explain and predict the motion of satellites in orbit. Let's imagine that Earth is a perfect sphere, so it's perfectly round, and let's imagine that there's no air, and let's imagine that there's only one tall mountain on Earth, and we put a cannon at the top of that mountain. So you fire the cannon, uh, the cannonball goes out, and it drops down and hits the Earth. And if you put a little, little more gunpowder in the cannon and you fire it, the, the cannonball comes out faster, it goes further, and it still drops to Earth. But if you look at the curve of the motion of the cannonball, it's a bigger radius. It's a, it's a slower curve. And so Newton postulated that if you could fire the cannonball fast enough, the cannonball would drop towards the Earth at the same rate that the Earth is curving around and therefore the cannonball could go all the way around the Earth and come back up the other side and, and hit the cannon from the other side. So what goes up doesn't always come down. In the last 54 years, there have been over 4,500 missions into space. Whenever we leave something in orbit that we are no longer using, it becomes space debris. Space debris is any object in space, man-made or put into orbit by, by humans, that is not a functioning satellite. Over the years, the amount of space debris has grown dramatically. In this animation, the red dots represent space debris, some of which are inactive or dead satellites. The green dots represent active satellites. Currently, we have over 19,000 pieces of space debris in orbit, about 1,000 active satellites, and that's only the things that are big enough for us to see or to track with our radars in orbit. There might be hundreds of thousands of pieces that are, say, marble-sized that we can't track, and each one of those could destroy a satellite. A marble hitting a satellite can destroy it. Damage to spacecraft from debris is an ongoing issue. The United States Air Force Space Surveillance System uses high-frequency radars and advanced telescopes to track space debris. To avoid a collision in space, scientists and engineers use the data they collect to protect satellites and spacecraft. We use Newton's laws to figure out where satellites are now, where they're going to be in the future, where they were in the past. So I use Newton's laws uh, every day in my job. 